And for a driver who ran down a bicyclist, didn't bother to stop. That cyclist is dead. The deadly hit and run happened not far from where the victim lived. He'd been in, out doing a good deed, actually. Yeah, well, CBS 2's Leslie Marine is live in our lead with more on that victim and a description of the suspect's car. Leslie? Pat Jeff, we know this victim was a father who recently hit a rough patch, so he was living on the streets. Last night, we're told he was actually riding his bike, bringing water to some of his friends that also live on the streets when he was hit by that car. Tonight, you can see this growing memorial behind me, the jugs of water he was carrying at the memorial site as well. In front of a makeshift memorial made for his dad, the youngest son of a bicyclist killed last night tries to console his mother. One after another, family and friends stop by to remember the 36 year old who they identified as Jesus Urbina. I can't believe it out of everybody right here. You know, he was the best one, of, best one of the bunch, and they had to take him. Nasir Mia has known Urbina, who friends nicknamed Gallo, for about 10 years. He would always come and help me. You know, he was the best, one of my best friends. Urbina had two young sons, ages nine and six. He had just spent time with them when police say he was crossing the street on his bike near Arlita and Branford around seven Sunday night. And a light colored Mercedes sedan allegedly hit him and took off. That's heartless. That's demonic. That's, that's, that's evil. Bless your children, Gaio. And they love you. And Bless your family. Friends described Urbina as a loving dad who had hit a rough patch and was recently living on the streets. But in spite of his troubles, he had never stopped visiting his kids and tried to stay positive. Unfortunately, we're kind of all in a situation that is not, not the best right now. And, and each day he tried to make it better for all of us, even if it was just a little bit. Tonight, people who loved Urbina are hoping the driver who left him to die will have the heart to turn themselves in. Please come forward. I mean, you only have one person to answer to, and that's yourself. And tonight, police believe that driver was driving possibly a light-colored, maybe even a silver Mercedes sedan. We know the city of L.A. has put up $25,000 reward for anyone that may have information on that driver. Reporting live, Leslie Marin, CBS 2 News.